Down the camera. You can. Good morning from Ramona, California, and today is a gorgeous, beautiful day. I'm down here just north of San Diego for the month of December, and there's three things that I want to accomplish while I'm here. During the month of December, I'm preparing for the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, the RTR, which takes place January 11th through the 21st, and my intention, what I'd like to see happen is for the step van to be ready for the launch of the Wandering Book Exchange and Tea House. So there's a number of things that need to happen during this time. I need to get all the cabinets in, the kitchen stuff, the benches, all of that installed. I'm hoping to be working with Jeff here for the last three weeks of December to do that. And I also want to get the electric installed. So I'm parked in Scott's backyard here. Scott is a YouTube subscriber to my channel and he is very knowledgeable about the electric system and solar setup. So he's going to be helping me over the next few weeks doing that. But before we can start into the electric stuff, Scott has a big thing happening in his life. He's going through downsizing from a giant house with multiple cars and everything to a boat. So he's reducing from about a 3,000 square foot house with all the furniture, everything, getting rid of a lot of stuff so that he can fit everything into his boat. And so over the next week and a half, I'm helping him move. So that's a combination of getting things sold on Craigslist and donating things to Goodwill and other charities and uh, taking loads of stuff to the dump. And we're just downsizing everything. He says I should actually offer a downsizing service where I wander around the United States and just help people to downsize. But anyway, it's really a lot of fun to see him going through the same experience that I did just a few years ago when I went from 2,600 square foot four bedroom house down to a 44 liter backpack. So I have some experience with that myself. This is a storage unit in his backyard. Once we have everything emptied out of this, out of his garage, I think we're working on kitchen stuff today. Just multiple loads, just all day long, going back and forth. He has a couple family members helping out, a couple of friends. Uh, once we finish up with this, I think he has to be out uh, four days from now, then we can focus on the step van. This is Scott, and we met uh, just a couple of days ago, and you contacted me, when was it? A good two months ago, maybe? Something like that. Yeah, and uh, I guess he's been a subscriber for a while. He is downsizing this week from a big house and going into a boat. Why? Why a boat? Um, I wanted to do something different, more a little unusual life. But not a step in? Not a step in, no. Need a little more space than that. Yeah, so it's a 42 foot boat. It's 16 feet wide. As a kitchen and dining room and two bedrooms. So I think one of the big components is finding what your dreams are, what you're passionate about and then removing the things that keep that from a barrier. So obviously all of the belongings of living in a large house won't quite fit in a boat. Not at all. So you've got to downsize quite a bit. Yeah, I think I took four, three or four truckloads out yesterday. Um, I've sold lots of things. I've been donating things to Goodwill, just mm -hmm. trying to get rid of anything I won't see myself using in the next year. So because I've done this before, I'm able to give him a little bit of advice. I think you've pretty much got it all figured out. So eventually after we get in all this stuff, then we'll get to working on the step van a little bit, doing some electric and Scott here, I think will be very helpful with that. It's evening time. I'm headed down to Scott's boat yard to go see his boat. Gonna be joined by his friend Wiley over here who also is at the boat yard. There's raccoons going up onto this ladder right here on this boat. It's right, it's right there. Oh, there he is. What is the boat? The boat is a 1966 Mariner Catch, 42 feet long overall. It's mahogany planked over white oak, born in Taiwan. 
And the primary reason it's here is this is a cast iron keel. And if you look, that looks burnt, that wood above it. And that's all dry rot from the cast iron keel. The rust from the cast iron keel has just rotted it away. So we have to separate that cast iron keel from the boat, lift the boat up, drop the keel out, and then replace that piece of wood that goes all the way across the bottom of the boat. Sounds easy. <laughs> yeah, right. With your help, it would be. You just need somebody tall. My humble abode. I've only been on here for less than a month, so I'm still not quite situated and organized, but uh, this is as the boat was when the book Karina by Patricia Kilson was written. And uh, I've done a lot of work on the inside and the lighting and stuff like that. And the deck, I did the deck, and now it's time to turn my attention to the, the outside of the boat, which is always the hardest. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. Thank you for the tour. This is the salon of a, what is this thing, a Uniflight 42, 1977? What do you think? You like the boat? No. <laughs> no. I mean, there's a new room for me. Dining my and kitchen and bed. forward bedroom. Humble abode. This is my own bed. Not so humble abode. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah. Is that a camera? Oh. You can... Do you... Because I had a raccoon problem. I had an infestation of raccoons on my boat. So Scott was kind enough to let me stay on his boat for a couple nights. And, uh, yeah, you gotta keep the door closed. Yeah. So the raccoons get up here? They, every night, they go on every boat in the yard. Even if there's no food or not. They just to check. Just to make sure. <laughs> they didn't miss a crumb or something. But every night, all night, that's all they do is up and down every boat. I sleep all day. Take it's a family of four. Guys, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for the tours hey, of your boats. Thanks for hanging out with us. Coming out to the boat yard. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Savor the moment. See you next episode.